adding, accessing, and removing effects. Perhaps the most simple way to add an effect is to press F7 on our keyboard to open up the effects tab within the browser. Then we can click on the personas folder here and simply drag in an effect to the track that we'd like to add it to. But we do have a couple other ways available to us. I'll F5 to close out the browser and F4 to open up the inspector. And we can see down below here is the analog delay that we've added. Now we could have also clicked on this plus button here and then select a in, uh, effect that way. I'll go ahead and close this out and F3 to open up the console to show the other way here. We have this right facing arrow that we can click on and then we can see we have inserts. We can click the plus button there and then go ahead and add yet another effect. Now notice at the top of this window here in the header, we can access any of the three effects that we've added by clicking its corresponding tab up above there. If we'd like to remove an effect, then we can click the downward facing arrow there and just click the remove. We can also accomplish that within the inspector here by clicking the downward facing arrow and then choosing to remove. And I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. And just know that we can access our insert effects from within the console at any time by simply double clicking on its name. Now, if I click once, then we open up a micro view. And here we can access some of the more critical settings for the particular effect that we've clicked on. We can click again to hide that. I'll click on the auto filter. Now, just notice we can actually make some adjustments to these parameters that are available by clicking on the blue field that uh, kind of highlights when we hover. So if I click, hold, and drag, I can then make an adjustment there. I'm gonna go ahead and click to hide that, and then press T to add another track. I'm gonna add an audio track, I'll click OK. We can see we now have a new channel added within our console. I'm going to click the right facing arrow to expand out the inserts and sends panel here. Just, just to show you that we can actually click, hold, and drag an effect over to the new channel and it will load with any settings that we've made. I'll click here and remove. If we'd like to copy an entire uh, effects chain, then we can just click on the inserts up above here. Notice the hand, I'll grab that and just pull it over to the newly created channel. And we have all of the effects here and any adjustments that we've made Copy to the new track. If at any time we'd like to deactivate or power off an effect, we can just click its individual power button there. We can turn them all off by clicking on this global power button there. I'm gonna go ahead and close these panels down. And just lastly, we're gonna take a look at the channel editor. This is available within the console by clicking on either of these icons. It's also available here within the inspector. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that just to show you that we can see our effects here up top. We have a routing section here as well. If I click on that, we can see our effects here and then click the downward arrow and access some different functions there. We can actually reorder these and access the different parameters here to the left. I'll go ahead and close out because I didn't show that while we're in the panel here, we can actually click, hold and drag to reorder these at any time as well. Also within the inspector.